Hey, hey, spring love face in my tarot. Okay, Leo, this is a reading for you. We're just going to see what we get. I'm drawn to the 76 doors deck. So, yeah. Okay. Something that um, <laughs> was ended and may come back around. Uh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles here. So, happy home, happy life. Um, but I am drawn to how we have destruction on the bottom with the tower moment. So I feel like someone from the past may be showing their, showing back up. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Oh yeah, yeah, tower moment. Uh, so someone from the past, a relationship with the, the three of pentacles here, which is recognition, um, wants to be seen. There's something that they want to um, show you or tell you. Um, yeah. Woo wee. Tell me about. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Growth. So someone from the past wants to. They want to make something grow. This is someone you actually blocked the daggum door up on. Look at that. Um, so, I'm not really seeing that this showing. I'm not seeing that you're going to want to have anything to do with this. They want to heal it. They want to heal the connection between you and them. This could be an ex. Uh, you've got a happy home, happy life, and you don't want no crap. That's what it feels like. You don't want any crap, I feel like. Let me see what these are. Yeah, see, here's the thing. We've got the hermit here. Contemplation. Uh, this person is contemplating how they want to heal something with you. They want to um, show you how it can be different this time. Um, see, it's like there was so much... And Okay, when you had something going with this person in the past... Um, there was a big thing about how this was a reward, you know. There was traveling going on and, and gratitude. And then all of that reversed. So it's like the, it was no more, you know, this person did, wasn't grateful to be with you. They didn't want to, uh, if you were traveling together, you know, uh, doing things a certain way. They didn't like that. It, it's just all backfired. It backfired. Queen of Cups, sensitivity. Uh, whoever this was, they were very sensitive. They may have uh, used their emotions to get what they want, wanted and whine. And, uh, you didn't like that, I feel like. So, I feel like that, um, you know, even though there was passion between you and this person, um, you seen through the illusions and you built your own life with regeneration. You changed things. And um, in doing so, you've moved on with your life. They want to come back from the past. So, whew, you know, um, <laughs> you're going to do some real reflection on this. It's going to call for you to do some real reflecting when you see this person or they come back around or they message you or something wanting to have a new beginning with you, a new start, a new lease on a relationship with you. When you've been manifesting what you want, you've been doing your thing, you may already be in a new relationship. And it's like, oh my God, I've, you know, I've been doing what I want to do, manifesting what I want, balancing my life, and then here it comes. Drama. Drama. Yeah. It's that type of feeling. Man. I don't know who you're dealing with, but they have got a feel about them that, honestly, it's like they want to cause drama. It's like they like drama. It's like, um, drama may be their middle name. We'll put it that way. Um, wow. They just, it's almost like they live for it. Uh, just to be honest. And you don't like it. You don't like the drama. You don't want the drama. But um, they're like, okay, well, they don't care what you want. Because they want to start over. They want um, this new beginning with you. And... The heck with what you what you want. That's the way that's the way it feels, you know. That's that's what this feels like. Uh, you may be dealing with an Aries, so we will look at Aries. Um, just let me get a look at what what I'm feeling here. Let me get a look at what I'm feeling. Um, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer. Oh, yeah, could be a Cancer, could be a Scorpio, like I said. Could be a Libra. Or a cat, even a Capricorn. Very likely could be. I have to uh, point that out. And we've already got Aries down here. So, yeah. So, in our extended, we will be looking at, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, an Aries, a Sagittarius, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um... As well as we'll take some cards around money and we'll take some cards around romance. Um, but yeah, you know, it looks like you, you, you know, aren't going to want any part of this. So I, that's what I'm feeling. Um, let's see. Advice to Leo going forward. Okay. Perception and truth. So. Be truthful about, you know, your perception of things, how you see things. Be truthful with it yourself and be truthful with this person. Um, you know, don't sugarcoat nothing. Don't lead them on. Don't, you know, do anything that's going to cause them to keep on trying if it's not going to happen. Um, advice also is to look at your strategy and, um, you know, where is your, where does your resistance lie? Yeah, that's important. Uh, renewal enlightenment so um, you know can this be renewed you know what's what's opening up to you what's being enlightened to you take all that in it's very important power and perseverance keep a hold of your power don't allow anyone to take it away be very perseverance in what you're doing and clear in what you want excuse me what you desire um, you've put it forth the healing work, not them. So yeah, it's important that you you be honest about what you truly want. You know, that's what I feel. So yeah, if you like the readings, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Please share them out and help grow the channel. And um, the link for the extended is below. And yeah, much light and love to all of you. Bye.